live från Berlin. It is the Electron Studios Berlin television show. Tonight, Octa Friends, The Octa Lab, Octa Chops and Octa Facts. Please welcome the host of the show, Jenk Sonny. Hello everybody and thank you very much for joining us tonight at our television show from Electron Studios Berlin. We have a really exciting show for you tonight and it's all about the Octatrack. Let me begin by introducing you to our guests. So here we have the Octatrack Mark I, released in 2010. And in December that year, we only managed to ship one, which marks our anniversary. The Octatrack paved the way for future sampling. And in 2017, we released the Octatrack Mark II model, which improved the screen, the buttons, the inputs, and many other things. And finally, we have the Octatrack Anniversary Limited Edition. Please give it a round of strong applause. And we also have a caller now. Hello? Hello? Hey, Jank. Oh, How hello. Hi. It's uh, Animistic Believes hey. here. Uh, we're just calling you to congratulate you on the uh, Octatrack. Oh, thank yeah. you. Happy anniversary, Octatrack. Yeah, yeah, happy yeah, anniversary, anniversary. Octatrack. Yeah. Uh, we're also calling you to, to share our experience with the machine, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what do you want to start? Yeah, I think when we got the machine, it's about four or four five, five years, years ago. ago yeah. And I believe that was also one of the first machines that we got as animistic beliefs, especially for yeah, playing yeah, the specifically for the light side. Yeah, we we uh, we were looking for a machine that could uh, play back samples mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. yeah. have the ability to manipulate them. A lot of while people look for that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, obviously, we we ended up <laughs> with Octatrack, yeah, yeah, basically. And for me, later I got more into exploring the Octatrack and I found some features that I really liked. And one of yeah. them was the pickup machine's live looper. Yeah, I very difficult to use. I yeah. my vocals mm -hmm. live to yeah, record them, chop them up, use a lot of effects on them, but also to change the sequence. And it was a really nice and fun way to uh, mm, yeah. process Very good at that stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are so many cool uh, uh, functions, like the uh, like the scene, for example. Yeah, I really like that too. You you can uh, you can have a loop going on, and then uh, you can drastically change change the the mood or the or the effects yeah. by With the fader and the yeah. scene, which is mm -hmm. really nice as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, just to switch it up for a little bit, and then also yeah, yeah, just go back. Just have some crazy variation going on. Mm -hmm. And that can be like very prepared in the scenes, but you can also do it very intuitively on the spot. That's mm -hmm. what I also really like. Um, what I also really like <laughs> is uh, the LFO that you can, 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 can shape, shape, shape. Of course, shape yeah, the designer. I think that's very, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think that's very yeah. interesting and a very that's cool. That's very cool too. Yeah, right? cool feature. Can you even randomize it? Yeah, so like I said, there's, there's, a, there's yeah. still a lot to explore and... Uh, yeah. That's something we will do definitely in the future. Yeah, definitely. But um, yeah, Jenk, we hope to see you soon in the future. Yeah, yeah, hope yeah. to share our stage again soon. Yeah, that, yeah, that would nice. be awesome. And uh, yeah, a lot of hugs and kisses to everyone at Electron and uh, Thank you. hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Ah, that was a really nice reunion with them. Last time I saw them was at Supina's festival in Lithuania, I think it was last summer. Uh, we were playing at the same stage, they were playing after me, and uh, it was great hanging out with them, and... Oh! Looks like we have another caller. Let's see which Okta friend it is this time. Hello? Hello. Hey, Jenk. Hi, Isabella. Isabella. Here. I just wanted to call in and say happy birthday, Octatrack. Oh, and thank you. And also uh, to talk a little bit about my own experience oh. with the OT. Yeah. Um, so I've had my Octatrack for about five or six years now. I got it knowing that I needed and wanted a um, particular power of manipulation that I was unable mm. to find in other pieces of gear at the yeah. time. That's the thing is um, And still can't really seem to find nowadays. Mm. And yeah, so I guess my relationship with the Octatrack has been totally wild. Um, 
I, you know, I have yet to find another piece of hardware that can really provoke me um, into creating in a way that the Octatrack does. It really allows me to think about my live sets and productions in a way that's like very um, rhizomatic, like it's very expansive. Um, and so, yeah, it's taught me so much about how I can really warp sound and also like control other gear. Yeah. And over the, the years, I'd say one, yeah. that like the Octatrack has really become like the brains and heart of my setup and um i can't imagine really working without it at this point to be yeah. honest yes. and same here. um yeah we've become really good friends <laughs> i was wondering um what's your favorite features on the octatrack so some of my favorite features um of the octatrack are yeah. particularly the eight different midi channels that it has oh yeah i work a lot with uh many different synthesizers in my live set and um at home in my studio um, and on top of that, also work in multi-mode within those synths. So being able to have those channels um, right at my fingertips and being able to control that is like super crucial. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. work with or perform with like software or anything like that. So like I said, having it all right there is just like um, really amazing to me. I think maybe have explored, you know, a, 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 a great deal of the the piece of gear and like, mm -hmm. you're kind of like, well, maybe I'll move on to the next thing. But uh, with the Octatrack, it's like, it's such a powerhouse of never um, feeling stuck. So yeah. that yeah. is amazing to me um, that you can have a piece of hardware that um, is constantly kind of like in conversation with you and your creative practice. And like this. Able to, <laughs> yeah. um, kind of ask it questions and uh, see how it responds and a lot of possibilities really come out of that. So, yeah, it, um, really sorry, Isabella. There is something outside. What the hell? What's going on? Who is that? Well, I guess there's nobody out there. Well, let's get back into it. Don't know what that was. Could be a fox or something. Hang on a minute. This wasn't here before. Yeah, great cover. Headless Horseman. Mm. Ah, of course. Yeah. When we made the Octatrack Anniversary Edition, uh, the, the, the memory card for it, th we decided to put new samples into it by a lot of artists such as Headless Horseman, Arc Rare, Skinner Box, Andreas Leander to name a few. And uh, I think this is... It's a tape with Headless Horseman samples in there. What better format to have his samples being played? Let's have a try at this. Oh, all right, here we go. <laughs> That's very much like him. Now, of course, I need to put some effects to this. I, I do, I do. Some comb filter. That's a very nice sound, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah. Such great sounds. Well. I have to say thank you very much to Headless Horseman and the other artists who were kind enough and generous enough to supply their beautiful sounds into this card. Talking about the card, let's load it in and see what we have inside. Let's put that card there. Put the special Octatrack card in. I have a project here that I made like three or four patterns using the these new factory samples and uh, yeah, let, let's play around with them and see what happens. Let's see if everything is playing as they should do. All right.
another pattern, Let's see what we have here. Mute these tracks. I have a feeling that this bass line is from Skinnerbox. Yeah. Let's play this one. I think this was a bit exciting. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, so if you're one of the lucky ones to have one of these cards, I really hope that you do experiment with those samples. They're really good ones.
now it's time for Octafax, where we cover the hidden truths of the Octatrack history. In the early days of the development of the Octatrack, it didn't have a name. And one of the names that was nominated for it was Trackstar. And as I hear, it was very close to be called that. So just imagine what it could have been. In Music Message 2010, the Octatrack was first shown to the public. And as you can imagine, the firmware was very early. And one of the big issues with that demo session was the fader was hard locked to pitch all the time. So just imagine your Octatrack doing that today. <laughs> when the Octatrack first started appearing in people's homes, studios and bedrooms, people were greeted by coming soon screens. And if my memory serves me right, I think it was the, the MIDI sequencer and audio editor and the slicing options were disabled and he had that coming soon screen. Yeah, well, they did come soon, so I guess we're all happy at the end of the day. Oh. MIDI tracks were added late during the development of the Octatrack. Even a hole was drilled into the prototype to add this new MIDI button. And it's, I remember actually like it took a while for the MIDI sequencer to be available on the Octatrack. It was like a year or maybe even two into its life cycle. And um, it was a long wait drilling into the prototype and it was late, but I think it was really worth it. Because at the end of the day, this MIDI sequencer is the only one that allows me to lock ARPs per step in the whole electron sequencer range. So thumbs up to that. And also I remember, yeah, there was this MIDI uh, sequencer uh, in one of the MIDI, uh, in one of the early beta firmwares. And they had these bunnies jumping around. And uh, that was during the Easter time, and that was a cute memory. That, believe it or not, we made games to be played with the Electron machines. And my favorite was the Octopong. And this game was a two-player co-op game, so you would need two Octatracks. And um, yeah, it was quite an achievement to get that going, but I think it was worth it, because it had multi-ball, bullet time, high score, and all these little creatures to hit with your balls. Yeah, I think it was a great one, and I remember this was on demo uh, at some exhibitions that we did at Sonar, NAM, and we had some competitions, so maybe some of you lucky ones had a chance to play this. Yeah. Oh, here we have a call. Let's see what's happening. Hello? Is there anybody there? All right. Yeah, that's a nice sounding instrument. Nice.
Hello? That shouldn't supposed to happen. Oh, wow. like we lost the connection to that well that was pretty crazy i wonder what was happening though i mean yeah probably the octatrack was sequencing the hydra synth maybe it was resampling it even i don't know but talking about that now it's time for octa chops <laughs> Right, chop number one. I've assigned this sample Ooh. to all of the tracks and with all the sample manipulation capabilities, LFOs and FX whatnot, you can come up with sounds like this. And here we go. Job number two. On the Octa track, a sample can be played while it's recording. In this instance, I'm resampling the main output. And with the fader, I'm controlling the start point. Job number three. In the Octa track, you can load in really long samples, and by manipulating the start points, you can get a lot of different sounds. Here, I have recorded my MS20 for like 30 seconds, and uh, I'll just flick through the start points. Have more release. Let's play back the sequence.
Job number four. I recently realized you can P lock the FX blocks on the master track. And once you've automated your parameters, you can change to different FX blocks for yeah, different results. Let's try that. I also like to change the the time multiplier on the master track sequencer and you get a much interesting results like that also. Well, that's all the time we have for tonight. I would like to thank all our guests that have joined us tonight and you for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time. Stay tuned. Straightly and smoothly. Do not press the tip of the mouthpiece among the teeth. Then blow it. Many factors and mindless notes. Which is similar to like that.